What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, Live Attack Town Hall 12, wearing my uh, Clash of Clans World Championship sweatshirt to get in the, uh, the right state of mind for this attack here, trying to get the fresh 3 star, um, doing a Lalo plan. Lalo is not my strongest attack, I like the Super Witches, Hybrid, almost anything better. Um, to be honest, but sometimes, you know, Lala looks good on the base, and I'm going to give it a try, and we'll see what happens. Let me go over the plan real quick, then we'll get it going. Um, I think that the uh, there's some good value to be gotten here with a blimp coming in here, dropping with a rage. Going to have uh, a yeti, a couple valks, and a headhunter to take down that whole compartment, uh, hopefully. A few, a few loons to kind of tank and make sure the uh, blimp gets there. CC will likely not lure, uh, which is okay. It's actually maybe good. Um, gonna drop a giant and a wizard to take out this uh, cannon. Maybe two wizards, actually. And then also, um, they might get that air defense down, uh, which is important because it's a Lalo attack. Um, so once uh, that kind of is set, gonna drop down two ice golems in my king and queen here to try to pick up some value gonna drop a yeti right here for the funnel some of the yeti mites might come in here and start to take down these defenses um, i might add a couple wizards to my army composition just taking a look at things um, might need them to make adjustments uh, to make sure the funnels are good and whatnot but anyway uh the heroes king and queen should kind of walk in here uh, the idea is they'll get that eagle down and um, just kind of wrap around the base, getting whatever value they can. I have two poison spells. I'm not sure how the CC is going to come out. That's why I have two, especially because the mega minions are often, um, or the super minions, rather. Uh, mega minions is Clash Royale. Uh, the, the super minions are often difficult to poison along with everything else, and they might come out in a weird way. So I have two max level poison spells in my clan castle spell slots uh, to deal with the CC in whatever form that is. Maybe it'll come out of my Lalo, who knows. Um, the plan for the Lalo is to just kind of come in with a two hound uh, from either side, uh, spread the loons around like this, have an earthquake to activate the town hall, um, also a couple freezes for where needed. Probably won't have to freeze anything at first. Um, I also have two lightnings, can't forget that, to take down that um, uh, air sweeper. I'll do that towards the beginning um, so I can also get some damage here. Sometimes you can lightning down the clan castle troops on top of whatever you want to already get lightning down, but I don't think the CC is going to lure in a friendly way such they'll be standing on top of that air sweeper. So I'm not going to even worry about that. I'm just going to do it at the beginning and get it out of the way. Uh, so that sweeper won't be pushing things back during the Lalo. Everything will come through. There might be a bit of a split. So I'm going to reinforce here with some more balloons, haste and freeze, good value right there. And um, hopefully just finish off this base uh, with the Lalo. I mean, once... As long as this uh, multi in the core goes down, which I think it will without the air sweeper to protect it, um, as well as this area over here, which is, you know, good spell value, I think the Lalo will be successful, even with my um, limited Lalo skills. So, um, I actually got a Lalo triple for my first attack, so looking to extend that uh, one more. Looks like I have my CC, uh, everything is set there, and... Um, Let's go ahead and get into it. Base number nine. Make sure I have everything. Can't forget to set my warden to air, obviously. Um, but troop wise, looking good here. Actually, I, I did want to add like one more wizard just in case it's needed somewhere. So let's get rid of a balloon in favor of a wizard and a goblin. That'll work. All right. Let's do this. Okay, start off with the lightning spell, like I said, then we'll get the blimp going. Maybe we'll get the blimp going first, just for time's sake. Do two loons and then the blimp. One, two, there it is. Nice. Two lightning spells, giant wizard, put another wizard down, all 
All right, everything's shaping up pretty well here. As long as the heroes kind of go into the base, um, we should be okay. I'm a little worried the queen might not. We'll see what she decides to do here. Hopefully it doesn't wrap around too much. Yep, there she goes, coming back, which is good. Pop the king's ability. Um, looking okay on time here. Let these heroes go a little longer. CC is go. Oh, queen's going back the other way. That actually might be okay. Uh, CC's about to pull. Let's get one poison down there. Hit that queen's ability. Start the Lala. Got a lot of stuff hung up in the middle there, but we got one more haste. We're going to be nice and patient with it. There are two more hastes. Hopefully those balloons get into that multi. Come on, balloons. Get that air defense down. You got it. You got it. Ooh, not the smoothest Lalo, but we got it done there. I was a little worried. Um, my pathing is always just awful, it seems like, uh, whenever I go for a, a Lala like this. But, looks like we'll have enough time to clean things up here. Um, all in all, went okay. Looks like my warden got targeted by a headhunter at some point, but he was able to stay up long enough to uh, cover the balloons over the town hall with his ability. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take the three star, and we'll take a look at the replay. Um, give, give a little more perspective on what just happened, but a triple is a triple, and um, looking good this war for me. All right, um, let's take a look at the replay here. So the everything started off good. Um, dropped down the blimp, and it got you know just as as far as it needed to. Comes down, um, Queen is dead like in seconds. I don't even know what happened to the headhunter I had in there, but it's gone. Um, the rage may have even not been necessary. You know, you could make an argument either way. I uh, would have preferred they went, went for like the top area, but they, you know, kind of came down, you know, helped take out some buildings that I guess might otherwise um, be, uh, be something that might pull my Queen. So that was okay. Um, Ice Golem's coming in. This Yeti was a little bit late, perhaps. Um, the King does go into that compartment, but the, the Yeti could have been maybe a couple seconds earlier to start creating this funnel a little better. And um, Ice Golems were kind of a little whack in terms of how I dropped them as well. The King got uh, pretty far out in front, it looks like, uh, of, that, uh, of both Ice Golems. But, you know, the important thing is the Queen comes in, gets the Eagle down. You know, that's the main thing I wanted here. Uh, the Queen actually comes back, which I wasn't expecting, but, you know... Uh, she was able to pick up some buildings and kind of help set up the Lalo a little bit. Went ahead and used that first poison um, to get down some of the CC troops. And I think the Headhunter might have survived. Um, or actually, no, the Headhunter went down. I'm not sure what targeted my Warden. Um, did I not put him on air? I'm going to have to look at this again. <laughs> this is the second time. I did this last attack, too. Okay, so he got targeted by a cannon and a ground expo. This is crazy. I keep doing this. Um, that was not a headhunter, that was just my warden um, on ground. So I guess I'm, you know, keep doing this for some reason. Uh, Lala went okay. The um, I just didn't have that many balloons. You know, I think I had like 24 minus a couple used at the beginning for the, the setup of the blimp. So uh, I wasn't able to kind of reinforce as much as I would have liked uh, to kind of take advantage of that lava hound making it to the air defense and, and you know such but I think the spell usage was good towards the end would have been even better if that haste had covered the inferno but they're still able to even at that slow speed make it to that air defense before it can take them out so I think I recovered pretty well even with a bit of a poor initial deployment there and um, obviously would have helped to have my warden still alive you know able to protect the balloons and do some of his own damage so um, I guess I am going to make a name for myself in using the warden on the inappropriate uh, 
orientation on my attacks. Maybe I'll use an Arrow Warden on my next ground attack just to uh, keep the, th the trend going. But um, three star was accomplished. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Always love doing these live attack videos. Um, so that'll do it, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, Bisect, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.